my next guests are two moms helping young girls love the bodies they're in from an early age. Very important. They're the authors of the new children's book, Her Body Can. Addie Meshke and Katie Crenshaw, are you there? Hey, Kelly. Hi. Um, so, okay, Addie and Katie, how did you come up with the idea for the book? Yeah, so we're actually both bloggers in Atlanta, and we see each other all the time at events and things like that. And, um, and so Addie was like, Addie had just had a baby, and she was like, I'm not seeing a lot of plus size like kids represented in books. And um, just, you know, we're both plus size, and we were like, we should write a book. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of how we got there. My original idea was to write about a plus size princess, but after our first creative writing session, we kind of decided to shift and make our character more relatable so kids could see themselves in the literature that they're consuming. We thought that that was really important. We wanted to showcase um, her body, you know, doing amazing things and show them that, you know, it's possible that they can do things. Yes, I love this. So, Katie, your your daughter also influenced you to write this book, right? Yeah, so um, I have two boys and a girl. The girl is in the middle, and she was born with a large um, infantile hemangioma that takes up about half of her face. Um, so from the beginning, not only was I really aware of having a daughter in this society, but also she has a noticeable difference. So I've always been kind of on this, like, power mission to change the face of beauty and kind of, like, rewrite the narrative for girls and women in our country. Yeah, I I think that, that that's very powerful and very true. And a lot of, um, there are a lot of moms out there that even if whatever that difference is than what the normal thing they might see at school, there's a lot of that going around and representation in all forms is so important. So Addie and Katie, explain the, the scenarios in the book. Like what happens in the book? Yeah, so the book actually opens with um, with a little girl running a race, which is actually um, a nod to, I ran the New York City Marathon in November. And yeah. um, as a plus side woman who didn't train very long, it was just kind of like a, a huge thing for me and it inspired a lot of other women in bigger bodies. And yeah. Um, she's, she's even wearing my bib number, which is cool. Um, <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. And, and it goes into other things, like everything we wanted a, a girl in a bigger body to know that she can do too, like shop for clothes, wear a one piece or a two piece, have um, a diverse group, group of friends with different ethnicities and abilities. And um, so everything is just like a different scenario. There's a sports scene, a dance scene. Um, there's actually a little girl in the dance scene that has a birthmark. So um, there's a little nod to Charlie in there. But, but yeah, it's just a lot of different ways that she can know that she can be anything that anybody else can be. Yeah, what about you, Addie? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of books out there that where the character has to overcome bullying, but we thought, why should she be bullied in the first place? You know, our character is shown as brave and adventurous and fun and kind and happy, and that's what we wanted because, you know, unfortunately, statistics show that there are more other like monsters trucks vegetables in books in children's literature than um diversity and different you know types of characters and minorities and we wanted to change the narrative and our book really shows we, we tried to be all inclusive and show all the kids playing together and just having a really good time so as much as as it is about self-love we also wanted to show them playing together so it would teach kids that, you know, you could love others for their differences too. And I think that's so important right now. When we shy away from showing differences, then you make it not okay. Then you're making something wrong with it, um, in my opinion. And I, I love that there is nothing wrong with it. And in your book, you, you showcase that well, um, that everybody's kind of represented and, and, it's, and it, there's not you're not force feeding anything, but you're not keeping anything from them. And I think that that's very, very important. We have a, a mom who says the book resonated so much with her. She broke down crying the first time she read it. And now she reads Her Body Can with her two-year-old daughter all the time. Um, Mary, are you there? Are you with us? Oh, hi. Hi. So Mary, why did you have such a powerful reaction to the book? Why do you think? I had such a powerful reaction because um, I have always struggled with my weight. I have always had my insecurities and I've, I've made a lot of decisions, I think, based on being the bigger girl. Mm -hmm. And I have never seen such positive, body positive words in a children's book, especially. Um, and I truly believe that um, what you learn as a kid stays with you forever. 
Oh, amen. The good and the bad. Um, so Mary, what's it like reading the book with your daughter? Like how it is, so much, you relate to it so much. So how, what's yes, it, like relating to her? it is so powerful and fun. And my daughter, Winnie, she's two and a half and she, Great name. thank you, Winnie Kate. Um, yeah. And she is an entertainer. She loves to sing and dance and her ballet is her favorite style of dance. Um, so when we got to the ballet page, she said, look, mommy, her can dance, her can dance just like me. And just seeing such positive and beautiful words and seeing the same girl, she dances, she plays sports, she wears two piece bathing suits. I mean, growing That's up, I never, yeah, she's fully capable. And um, I have a five year old son, Nate, and my husband and I, we read the book to our son as well. We want him to respect his peers and just know that that everyone, all the girls in his class, the boys, everyone deserves to be treated equal and um, everyone deserves to have have love and respect and and um, everyone just comes in different worth. shapes and sizes and that's what's great about being yeah. human we're all so different and and exactly. it's actually cool that you brought up um boys because katie and annie you're actually aren't you doing something for boys right like a boy version of the book that was the um the main feedback we got was where is the book for boys when are we getting another one and it is coming we are finalizing the illustrations for his body can this book is a little bit different it it focuses on smashing the gender roles uh, which is boys. so important. Yes, and I have a little boy, um, Colt Baby, so I can't wait to read this to him. It's going to show, you know, all the things little boys can do. And we're also um, actually translating the book, Her Body Can, into a couple of different languages because that was a big request also because um, it's so global. So we are trying to get it out to you guys in all the different languages we can. So, I mean, Mary, you have something you want to tell Addie and Katie, so why don't you go for it? I just want to thank you ladies for creating this safe space for not only my kids, but kids all over the world, um, especially with what's going on right now in the world. It's such a scary place. And so um, my husband and I, we are using this as a tool to treat, um, to teach our children to treat everyone with respect and kindness. And it doesn't matter your religious beliefs, your size. I mean, we can, we can put it towards so many different things. And um, I know we all struggle and I, I just want you to know that you are such an inspiration to me and my children and the little me just thanks you so much um, and I, I truly believe this is life-changing and um, I, I hope that and I already see it on social media that um, our children are slowly erasing hate and I truly believe the next generation is going to be so different and it's because of women you know strong and powerful women like you. Addie and Katie, um, Addie, I'll start with you. Like, how does that feel? Like, that knowing that something, you know, you did, this book has made such a big impact. I mean, I just wanted the book for my own nightstand for my younger self. And here I am crying. Thank you so much, Mary. Those words were so nice. So, well, thank you so much, Mary, for saying those sweet words and, and telling us your story and sharing it with us. And Addie and Katie, thank you so much for having this idea to spark such great conversations, um, not only with our children, but ourselves and, and, and who we are like innately as our inner child as well, um, so we can grow. So y'all can pick up Her Body Can online and watch for His Body Can later this year. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.